Good morning to all. Today the church celebrates the feast of Sacred Heart. Although we have celebrated and reflected over this feast, let's once again place our mind and heart on the Sacred Heart of Jesus. In the Gospel, we read, Jesus' heart is pierced by a soldier and at once blood and water came out from the heart. What does this event give to us? What message this event say to us? In another passage of St. John, Jesus says, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Out of my heart flows the rivers of life-giving water. Dear friends, the water that is pierced from the heart of Jesus was nothing but the life-giving water to which Jesus invites each one of us. Now we need to examine ourselves how does this life-giving water enhance us our day-to-day -day life. I would say that the life-giving water comes to us in our day-to-day -day life as the impulses of our heart. The life-giving water is the beautiful image which represents the voice within us. At the same time, we also see there are other impulses that the world provides. The impulses of this world is so much different from the impulses of the heart. The impulses of this world urge one, one to seek the meaning of happiness of this world. Here the person is happy and content when he is well secured and well settled in his life. Whereas we find the impulses of the heart or the voices within urge one to seek or search the meaning of happiness that spirit gives. Here the person is happy when he is able to move by the spirit. Dear friends, today in this hour let us reflect over this thought and examine ourselves where does the meaning of our life is based. Is it on the impulses of this heart or the logic of this world?